Hey guys, thanks for stopping in for another episode of I Want That Reviews. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Flash Stealth GT 6.1 from GatTac Inc. Now this guy is sold on their website for a total of $49.95. I do believe they charge $6.95 shipping. I'm not positive on that. Uh, and uh, this guy will come to your door. Now, this particular model features nine rows of porting across the top with a closed base to allow for reduced dust signature if you're laying prone and shooting. Essentially, the part itself is two pieces. The standard piece that fits onto your uh, one half by 28 thread fittings on the end of your rifle, and then the flash suppressor device itself. They thread together like so, and, uh, and you have a functional device. This guy is manufactured of solid bar stock steel. It is parkerized with non-reflective finish and allows you to essentially disassemble this guy and thread on an oil filter for mess-free cleaning. The whole concept there, this piece stays on your rifle. You thread the oil filter on it, you can actually pour solvent down your barrel push patches through, the patches end up in the uh, in the oil filter, and then when you're done, you just take the oil filter off, stick it on the shelf, and you're good to go. For first impressions, when I pulled it out of the package, uh, I immediately noticed the uh, the even, smooth finish, the, the lack of tooling. It's very cleanly manufactured, and I was really impressed right off the bat with how smooth the threads are. When you unscrew the, the flash hider device here, it's buttery smooth, and there's no lubrication on here that I can see. There may be a dry lubricant like graphite, but I can't see anything like that, and just for, for those threads to be that smooth right off the bat was kind of something that stuck out to me. One thing to note is if you purchase any one of GATTAC's flash hiders like this, you can purchase different flash hiders. They have different devices, ones that have uh, crenulated bezels, they have ones that, uh, that have less holes, ones that have more holes, and that's something that you can look into. They're all compatible with each other. As far as use on this guy for me, I thought it was real simple install. One thing that got me though was you have to disassemble this guy, take it apart, and once you've got it taken apart, you thread this guy onto your barrel. Now, there's no indicator on this guy for you to be able to time it. So what I did with it was I just drew, I just used a pencil and put a mark on the top of it and then I threaded it down with the crush washer and timed it to the point where I wanted it. The nice thing is this will time perfectly to the, the adapter every time so your up is up. So as long as you get the, the base threaded down right, you're good to go. I did notice when shooting that there was a reduction in recoil. I also noticed there wasn't too much noise throwback. Usually when you're using compensators or muzzle brakes, you get uh, a lot of increased sound. And I noticed that this did a pretty good job of mitigating that. It didn't send too much sound back at me. And I didn't have too many complaints out to either side. I did notice that there wasn't so much, uh, so much down blast, obviously. That helped to reduce muzzle rise as well as dust signature. Uh, I don't do a whole lot of shooting laying prone, so it wasn't something that, that affected me that much. And then the cleaning aspect of it, like I said, this guy threaded off. I threaded the oil filter right onto it, was able to clean it out, put my, you know, poured a little bit of hops down the barrel, pushed my patches through, and, and I was good to go. As far as likes on this guy, the, the machining is very nice. Uh, like I said earlier, there's no visible tooling on it. It is parkerized, and, uh, and I thought that was kind of a nice touch. You see a lot of anodization that, around and, and things like that. It could be Cerakoted or something like that if you want it to match your barrel, but the parkerized finish is, uh, is very nicely done. I really liked the threads on it, the, how easy it was to, to thread on and off the, the oil filter, the flash hider, and so on. Just, just how clean those threads were cut was, was, was a big like for me. Uh, of course, I like the reduced recoil. We all know there's not a whole lot of recoil that goes along with the 223 rifle, but to have any kind of a reduction, you know, if you've got uh, if you've got wives or friends that are gun shy that don't care for any kind of kick, this does a nice job of of reducing that. And then I also liked the uh, the no mess cleanup. I liked the fact that everything was contained in in, in the oil filter and and you know just ready to be put away for next time. Dislikes on it, the only thing that I didn't like about it was the issue with timing. You, Unless you put some sort of a mark on this, you're timing blind. You, it's, your guess is as good as anybody else's which side is the top. Uh, so I would definitely recommend putting a dot up there and, uh, and, and going that route. 
Uh, but overall, I'm going to give this guy 5 out of 5 stars. I didn't think that the timing issue was enough to take away from the overall score, so that's why I went ahead and went with that. Um, a side note, something I do want to talk just a little bit about. A short internet search will result in uh, uh, finding information that lots of people like to use the oil filters on these as suppressors. I would very strongly discourage that. Yeah, it might be a fun thing, but we're talking about a federal offense. We're talking about prison time and losing your right to own firearms. Don't be stupid with this thing. Please don't take it out and thread your oil filter onto it and try to use it like a suppressor. It's just not worth it. It's meant to be used as a solvent trap, not as a suppressor. Please use it as it's advertised, as it's suggested. With that being said, I'll go ahead and include a couple links below to their website as well as their Facebook page. Go ahead and take a look and see if there's anything that interests you. Uh, as always, thanks so much for watching. If it weren't for you guys, I wouldn't be here. So please do keep checking back on a weekly basis for more reviews of awesome products just like this one that'll make you say, I want that.